So now we're gonna bring it home. Today we're gonna to talk about yoga for biking. Our featured guest trainer today is supermodel and founder of the Urban Yoga Foundation, Ms. Gillian Bell. And she's gonna help us to know how to keep our muscles warm, injury-free, and stretch before and after biking. Now she's been doing yoga for over 20 years, so I'm really excited to have her here. Welcome home, Gillian. Thank you so much, thank you. So we're gonna go through a basic sun salutation to warm up the muscles around the muscles that you use when you're cycling. We're gonna start with our hands to our heart. Inhale, arms down, around, and up, looking at your thumbs. Exhale, bend your knees, hands on both sides of your feet. Inhale, straighten your legs, hands to shins, look up, prepare pose. Exhale, right foot goes back into a deep lunge. Inhale, lift the upper body up, looking at your thumbs. Exhale, float the hands back down to the mat, middle fingers pointing straight ahead. Inhale, front foot back, plank position. Exhale, chaturanga, elbows back to the room. Inhale, upward dog, lifting out of the shoulders. Exhale, flex the feet back, downward dog. Inhale, lift the right leg up, bend the knee, and bring the foot all the way through the lunge. Lift the upper body back up, looking at the thumbs. Exhale, float the hands back down to the mat. Inhale, back foot front, prepare pose, hands to shins, look up. Exhale, forward fold, bend the knees. Inhale, to lift the arms up, looking at the thumbs. And exhale, hands to heart. That basic sun salutation should warm up the whole body. What we're gonna do now is three poses I'd like to show you that you should do after you come off the bike. So the sun salutation is pre-bike ride. Yes. And so now we're post-bike ride. Yes. Okay, great. So let's stand in mountain pose. Inhale, arms up again, looking at your thumbs. Exhale, bend the knees, hands on both sides of the feet. Step back with the right foot, then the left foot into a downward dog. Inhale, the right leg up, bend the knee, and bring that knee all the way to the top of the mat, taking the right foot across the left side of the body. Ooh, that feels good. Yeah, lengthening that back foot. So you're really long in the back, lifting up in the front. Now bend that back leg. Uh, hello. Yeah, that's not really easy. Why don't you turn around so that everybody can see what happens in the side body. So you're opening up the hip. This back foot is stretched. Stretched really nice and firm. Now you're gonna take this foot and you're gonna inhale and exhale, bending that knee. <laughs> now if you can't reach your hand back here, that's fine. Keep your hand firm because you're still getting a nice stretch in that hamstring. So that's the part of the hip and the leg that you want to stretch that happens in the plane of biking, you're really stagnant and you really want to open this part of the body up. So release that down. I think you should come biking with me and hold my leg up. I mean, that would just be <laughs> ideal. Sorry, yeah, if well, you have time. If course. I have time, we'll work on that. <laughs> Here's another pose I'd like to do. So if you come out of that one, and we do this on both sides, what you want to do now is a bridge pose. You want to show from the side the way bridge should look, laying on your back. I don't know if I'm the one that should show how bridge should look, but maybe <laughs> you can talk fine. me through it. You're fine. So if you lay on your back, okay. knees up, feet flat on the floor, your feet are as wide as your hips. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a nice deep inhale, and you're gonna exhale and raise the pelvis to the ceiling. You'll tuck the chin into the chest to protect the neck. And what this does is it opens up the top of the body because the whole body in biking is constricted. It has this staticness to it and it's one plane. So when you open up the body, you're opening up the hips, you're opening up the top of the thighs, you're opening up the chest, the arms, the shoulders, and you bring some stretching to the feet. Inhale and exhale, lower down. Beautiful. So there's one more pose I'd like to show you. If you could stand up for me one more time. So we're gonna do a quick pyramid pose. So you're gonna step back just a little bit. Your front foot is pointing straight ahead and your hands are gonna go into a reverse prayer. So I'm gonna show from the back and you're gonna show from uh, the front. I'm gonna pray that I can do this move. Exactly, so uh, this way, you no, you turn around and show them what it looks like from the front. I'll show them what it looks like from the <laughs> yes, back. That's gonna be better at a plan. So you're gonna inhale and bring your energy and your body awareness to that right leg. And exhale, straight flat back, fold over that front leg and lift that front foot. Ooh, just that little lift. Yeah, just that little lift. Opens up the back, opens up the shoulders, and brings a nice stretch in the leg. Inhale and exhale, lift up. So how I breathe? Wonderful. Breathing with the breath, <laughs> moving with the poses, it's just how you do yoga. So those are the three poses that you can do after your cycling. Oh, thank you so much, Gillian. And what do we say at the end of the yoga? So we sit down in our cross-legged position, 
Bring our hands to our sternum, fingertips raised. Inhale. Exhale, bowing the head to meet the fingertips, dropping the neck and shoulders. Inhale once more. And exhale. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So guys, remember that on your bike ride? And we're going to stay with Gillian Bell, and she's going to answer a few of your questions. Okay. Namaste. Okay. So now we're back for a little tea and tweet. And Gillian Bell is going to be answering some of the questions that you guys sent in. Okay, Gillian. So Melissa from Waterloo wants to know, I can't touch my toes after I go biking and running. I'll be in yoga class and getting really flexible and then all of a sudden, not anymore. What's going on there? Well, um, I'm going to break the question up. So she is flexible during yoga class and then she bikes and she's not as flexible after biking, mm -hmm. right? That happens to me too, actually. Yeah, well, it makes sense because what happens in biking is your body's in one plane, so it's stagnant. It's mm -hmm. like in this one position and it's a repetitive position. So the muscles get used to being there. So after you come off the bike, which is why we want you to warm up with the sun salutation before you go on the bike. And after you come off the bike, you have to stretch and release those muscles. Those muscles are all constricted mm. because they've been in this place for so long. Hence, but, she's like doing really well. And then yeah, she goes for and a bike she and goes she tightens Yeah, up. so she's got to, after the biking, do some of the stretching that we, we've, um, we executed during your segment, and she should be okay. All right. I have a question yeah. from Africa in the chair. Do they teach you guys how to do that voice like that? Everybody like sit down, even though you're like doing something that totally hurts, and they're like, please put your toe to your ear. And this. is there a class? How does everyone that's like has a lovely voice that is just amazing when your people are about to die? <laughs> well, um, finding your voice in yoga is one of the things that you do work on, and it, it has to be authentically yours. It can't be something that. You know, like I'm speaking to you now, it's pretty much my voice. But if I were to start working in a sun salutation and, and use that voice, I would say, inhale, arms down, around, and up. So I'd find that balance. You should that call balance. like that. <laughs> Hello, Africa. <laughs> phone to the ear and bring the phone down. Anyway, well, yes. thank you so much for You're a so welcome. tea and tweet. You're so welcome. And I'll just tell you all, please stay tuned for our next segment. It will be very, very relaxing. Cheers. Cheers.